Students at Arizona State University are contributing to a goal that will help tie in with a bonus pay raise for President Michael Crow. Here at the Fulton Center, Senior Vice President Richard Stanley is confident ASU is on the right track in exceeding the set goals that were set for the 2020 Vision Plan. We are about four or five hundred degrees ahead of what the what the stated goals were for this last year. On the research side, we are just ahead. We are just about at just a little bit above the goals. But again, there's a there's a very steep. Uh, ladder to climb. Any poll taken by AZ Central, 66% agree that the president does not deserve a large bonus for achieving the goals. Here at the Memorial Union, USG Vice President Casey Klaus had this to say. If ABOR believes that President Crow deserves the races, it's their prerogative to do so. Um, I think if you look at ASU's track record since he's been here, um, you can see like leaps and bounds that it, he's gone and like where the university was and where the university is now. Arizona State is not the only university to have an executive officer receive such a large bonus. The University of Arizona's president will receive the same one. The board stated both presidents have the potential of earning $260,000 over the course of the next three years. One of the many aggressive goals for the following years is to increase the number of enrolled students. ASU currently has 70,000 students. The university claims there will be enough dorms to live in and online learning will play a big role in students' education. According to the regents, the purpose behind the bonuses is to attract and keep the most qualified individuals to run the university. Reporting for Cronkite News Watch, I'm Katrina Arroyos.